today's video, I will show you how to make GNOME Desktop look like macOS Tahoe. This is a step by step guide to transforming the GNOME Desktop environment. Now, for this tutorial, I will be using Fedora, which comes with GNOME 49, but you can follow the same steps on any distribution running the GNOME Desktop. If you are using Ubuntu, check out the dedicated video linked in the description for more details. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Now, as you can see, this is a fresh installation of Fedora running on my laptop. In just a few minutes, we are going to make it look like macOS Tahoe. Now, first, open Terminal and update your system. Before proceeding, install TimeShift, a backup tool that allows you to create a snapshot of your system. Then launch TimeShift and create a backup of your entire root system and home directories. This backup will be used to restore your system if anything goes wrong after installing macOS theme. After that, click Create to save a snapshot of your system current state. Next, we will install the essential tools required for customization. Now, run the appropriate command for your distribution to install GNOME Tweaks, Git, and other dependencies. Next, install GNOME Extension Manager using Flatpak. Now, let's adjust a few system settings. Open Settings Application. Go to Multitasking and enable Hot Corners and Active Screen Edges. Next, open Extensions Manager. Go to Browse section and install these extensions one by one. Now once you have installed all the extensions, go back to the Installed tab, find Dash to Dock Animated and adjust its settings to make it look perfect. You can also tweak the animation settings depending on whether you prefer performance or higher visual quality. Now your dog should look almost exactly like the macOS dog. Now open your terminal and type this command to clone the macOS icon pack. Once the download is complete, navigate to the directory and install the Tahoe icon pack by running this command.
then go ahead and open your web browser and navigate to this website copy this url and clone it using the git command After cloning, navigate into the directory and execute the installer script. If you want to understand all available options, run the help command for more details. For now, I will execute the installer with specific arguments to achieve a macOS-like appearance. The dash n option with the argument MacTahoe sets the theme name the dash t option with the argument all install all accent colors the dash l option adds support for libadvata based applications the dash dash shell option customizes the gnome shell for example the dash i with argument simple sets the gnome activities icon the dash h option with bigger increases the panel height and finally use dash dash round to make maximized windows rounded. After entering all the arguments, press enter to execute the installer. Once the installation is complete, it's time to run the tweak script as root user to theme the GNOME Display Manager. I'm going to use the following arguments the dash G to theme GDM, the dash ND to prevent darkening the Tahoe background image, and dash B to set a custom background. Now let's go ahead and theme Flatpak applications in Firefox. Now, first, close Firefox if it's running in the background. Then run the same script again without root and add these options. The dash F with argument default to make Firefox resemble Safari. The dash uppercase F to theme Flatpak applications. Then press enter to execute. And lastly, go ahead and run this command to override the GTK theme for Flatpak applications. And that's it, you have successfully installed the themes and accent colors. Now let's open Tweak's application. Under Appearance, change the icons to macOS. Now for the shell theme, select macOS Tahoe. I will stick with the default dark version for now. Next, go to Legacy Applications and choose the theme that matches your shell theme so everything remains consistent. Then open the Windows section from the sidebar. Then change the title button position to the left and enable the option to center new windows. Now at this point, your GNOME desktop should already look very close to macOS. Remember, you can always revisit the Tweaks application later to further fine-tune your desktop. Now let's go ahead and set the wallpaper. 
right click on the desktop select background and choose a wallpaper that suits your style If you ever decide to remove the macOS theme, follow these steps. Open Terminal and run the installer script with the appropriate options to delete all the installed themes. Then run the tweak script with the dash R option to remove GDM, Firefox, and Flatpak theme support. And lastly, use the Tweaks application to switch to the libadvata theme, disable the installed extensions and reboot your system. I strongly recommend using Timeshift Backup to restore your GNOME desktop. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.